I thought I had been recording this whole time and I hadn't been, but today is Sunday, May 12th, and happy Mother's Day if that is something you celebrate, and if it's a harder day for you, I'm wishing you a gentle Sunday, but I am back from a trip and kind of getting resettled back into LA before I go traveling again. I've kind of been like easing my way back into just like LA life, which is there are always so many events happening all the time. But today I'm gonna go work on some book stuff. The book is coming out in five months. Thank you to everyone who has pre-ordered so far. I will put a link in the description if you want to pre-order it. Pre-orders matter so much for new authors because it signals to bookstores and publishers that there's interest in the book, to want to host events, get more books, help market it, gauge early interest. I'm really proud of the book. It was very tough. I feel like this book is very neat. Let me give you an update on the past couple of weeks. Saturday I took it easy. I've kind of been like, as I said before, like easing my way back into LA life. There's always events going on. I feel like I needed some like decompression time after having like a pretty intense couple of social days, I wanna say. Friday I had my small business class. I got invited to a luncheon that was focused on labor power, workers' rights, celebrating women's leadership. So I stepped out and went to that. We had decided to grab dinner, Korean barbecue. So I went and afterward a bunch of my classmates were like, hey, we're going to go to karaoke. And I was like, I'm not going to go to karaoke. But then I was like, you know what, I'm going to go check it out. I went, sang a bunch of songs, had more fun than I thought I was going to have. And I'm glad I went. Wednesday and Thursday, I was in DC for this event called Trending Up, which brought together a bunch of creators who are interested in advocacy and wanting to leverage their platforms for a cause and help build a more inclusive democracy. I felt like I couldn't be super present for the event because not only did I not make it to the opening reception because I had another dinner that my friend invited me to to talk about diversity and inclusion in venture capital. I was able to catch like the after reception hang with a couple of creators, but at that point in time, I'd spent the whole day traveling. So I said hi to a couple people. And then Thursday, ended up actually taking an earlier flight out to get back at 10 p.m. rather than 2 a.m. So I missed all of the Friday programming because I didn't want to miss the small business class. And then Tuesday I had some meetings and that was kind of my like try to catch up on everything before I am out for the rest of the week, which I like kind of did but didn't do. Look at this purple car. So that purple's like Barney, my monthly Barney. And then I had also RSVP'd to an event that this like mental health event that I I had RSVP'd to it but then hadn't heard if I'd gotten off the list and then a couple of hours before the event I got off the list and I didn't realize like how many people they had actually invited so I felt bad if I didn't make it then I showed up and it was super packed but I'm glad I met I went I met a couple of people the event was co-hosted by Howie Mandel and Mario Lopez and my new friend that I met and I went to go talk to Howie I didn't get a photo I think I want to be like better about that it's cool to be in LA because there's so many cool opportunities like that but no photo I ended up bidding on a couple of items at their silent auction for a good cause you know and that was Tuesday Monday I got invited to my friend Shira's birthday and I'm so grateful to have been invited. I enjoyed some goodies at this coffee bar that they had at the event. And then we all went around and shared with her like 
what we loved about her. And then that night, I got invited to this event with this nonprofit called Represent Us. It was actually pretty fascinating to be there and learn about how corrupt our political system is in some ways and learn about the way to kind of create political change is really on a local level. And that event was also pretty cool too because Ed Helms was there, Jonathan Scott was there, and also I didn't get a photo. I'm gonna be better about that. Saturday and Sunday, I really took it easy. My friend Molly picked me up. My new friend Catherine dropped me off. Watched a lot of rom-coms. And Friday, May 3rd, I had my small business class, but that one was only a half day one. So I got to go home and kind of like take it easy and try to relax a little bit before, um, before Saturday. May 1st and May 2nd kind of just had a lot of meetings, was taking it easy. Pretty much that whole week I was pretty much taking it easy. Tuesday, April 30th though, I had a speaking engagement. And then the news was announced, or I found out on April 29th, I had a call with the Barclays team about the $60,000 grant. I found out that we won and that news was announced on May 1st. Just so exciting because I feel like I had worked really hard on trying to get people to vote and, and it did pay off. Sunday the 28th was my birthday. I wasn't gonna organize anything, but then about a week before I had participated in, or about a week before I'd gotten invited to go to make this like mosaic art frame glass making workshop and I thought it was really fun and as I was there I was like this would be really fun so on Tuesday the week before so less than a week I put a list together of people I wanted to invite 11 of my friends came out and that was pretty fun but it was interesting because afterward I was I was pretty socially depleted so <laughs> it has been interesting to kind of reflect over the last couple of months because I was kind of in this like season of no with the book and now I have like small spurts of that but then kind of like trying to take it easy on my body over the last couple of weeks I've also been like laying low so I feel like I'm like in this interesting ebb and flow maybe kind of like a seasonality of sorts of like being very active in terms of like going to events and stuff and then also retreating and having my me time. So those are, those are the updates since my last daily update. And thanks for being here. We also passed a thousand subscribers. I don't know if I announced that in my last one, but that was a pretty cool milestone to reach because that was something that I had been wanting to accomplish for a while. And uh, thanks for watching.